Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so clearly that was not my normal face at the beginning of the video. Uh, this weekend, I was a model for two artists at IMATS, which is uh, the International Makeup Artists Trade Show, I believe is what the IMATS stands for. I might have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, Friday, I was made into an orc from the movie Bright, which is uh, on Netflix, says Will Smith, etc. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, by my friend David Woodruff, who also worked on the film. The prosthetics were made by RBFX. RBFX, they make a, a lot of stuff. If you've looked at my Instagram and seen all the different uh, creatures I've been made into, almost all of them were made by RBFX. Um, the teeth were some over-the-counter teeth we found someplace, and they looked similar enough that we could get away with them. The contacts that I wore were actually made for the production of Bright, so they are very accurate, which is kind of cool. That was what I did on Friday, and on Sunday I modeled for Chloe Sens, who is a makeup artist you may have seen on the show Face Off. Really, really talented. She also used RBFX uh, prosthetics to make my face look like that fish man that you saw at the beginning of the video. And we did this all at the Iwata booth. Now, if you're here, you probably are waiting for me to get to the point. Um, Iwata, which you probably know if you're watching this video, they make airbrushes and they make spray guns, stuff to apply paint, basically. Um, they're really high quality products. And because I was at their booth, instead of paying me cash or something, they traded me product, which probably works out best for everybody because I'm sure they get it for whatever their cost is. And I would have to pay for it somewhere else, so I got a good deal. So they gave me a whole bag of goodies before I left. So we're going to take a look at what's in here and unbox a few things. Um, they gave me two packages of these studio wipes, which are basically just like, they're basically like the equivalent of baby wipes. I think this one might be open already. I opened one of these. They're just like a, like a wipe. They're, they're good for wiping off your stuff, getting paint off of things and so forth. Pretty nice to have around. Uh, they gave me a shirt. They were out of smalls. I usually wear a small, but this is a medium, which I will also wear, which is pretty rad. Team Iwata. Kind of cool picture with this airbrush all taken apart. Really like it. That was nice. Airbrush cleaner. Which you'll see why I got that here in a second. They gave me a... An airbrush keychain. We'll open this so you can see. Oof. Where'd it go? There it is. Airbrush keychain, which is also a bottle opener, which is pretty freaking cool, I think. So it's got a little bottle opener attachment. Now let's see what we have in the box. They gave me a bag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And in the bag is an Iwata Eclipse. HPCS airbrush, which is very nice. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, um, I've got a lot of cheap airbrushes. They work okay, but having a nice airbrush is something that I would, uh, I was very happy to receive. So, an airbrush and dun, 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 a compressor to go with it. So, this is the Smart Jet. I think this is the yeah the IS850 is the model. These airbrushes are about uh, 150 bucks. You can sometimes find them for less or if you have a coupon someplace you might be able to get one for a deal. Um, so $150 airbrush and this compressor is actually pretty nice. This is about a $250 compressor so I am very excited. So anyway let's open these up and take a look at what is in the box. All right so let's open the uh, the compressor first because we may as well right? So all right, box is open. Um, it's got a little box here with O-rings and some instructions. We'll take a look at it in a second. Uh, foam and so forth. There's a little handle on the top, which just flips up. Oh, there we go. Power cable. It's a pretty nice deal here. Ooh, this is cool. So this is to catch uh, moisture. So when you're using your airbrush, when it's pumping it in, it's basically taking all the air and compressing it. And as it does that, all the 
all the little bit of moisture that's in the air builds up and it can actually just become like a puddle of water sitting in your compressor. So as it sprays out, sometimes you'll get um, water. You don't want that to come through your equipment and blend with your paint. So this catches the water that comes through the airbrush. Um, airbrush hose, handy. Does it have a quick release? Not yet. I'll have to buy a quick, quick release for it. Anything else in here? That's all I see in here right now. A bag of goods. Uh, oh, here's another another hose. Very neat. So we've got a couple airbrush hoses. The book, the uh, the compressor itself, and um, the feet are kind of like these grippy rubber things that should cut down on the noise a bit, keep it from like vibrating all over the place. Uh, anyway, very excited about this. It has like a little built-in airbrush holder in the front too, which we will look at in a second. And then uh, check out the Eclipse, the Iwata Eclipse airbrush. My dog's sneezing over there. How do I get this out of here? Sorry, haven't uh, had to undo one of these before, so this is the first. Yeah. Now this is basically just an unboxing today, so you guys can see what's in these in the uh, packages here. This is the in interior box, another box within a box. Congratulations on your genuine Iwata. Um, so, tape seal is still sealed there. Gotta cut it. Oh, the seal is now broken. Open the box. Got an Iwata sticker, instructions, etc. And, and there is the airbrush. It is a dual action airbrush. It's a gravity feed, which means you put the paint in and it just drops down into the chamber to spray. And dual action means that when you push down, you get your air. So psh, air turns on, and when you pull back, it lets the paint out. So I don't know if I can get this to show up on here. There goes the dog hanging under my feet. So I've taken this little, the little tip protector off so you can see the needle here. Um, so this will kind of be a better representation, but here's how the dual action works. You press down, you get your air. When you pull back, the needle retracts. You can see it as the further back it goes, the more paint comes out and you get more flow. So uh, hopefully that makes sense. Air. And then more and more paint, less paint. And if you get close, you can get really fine lines. You back up, you get like a nice broad line. Um, so in the books, in the book here, there's just some some really basic instructions on uh, how to hook the airbrush up, how to put your paint in. Really basic stuff. It's like a little, it looks like a little test sheet. I don't know if this was actually sprayed through this airbrush or if this is just printed, it looks maybe printed, I don't know. Showing the different types of lines you can make. I want a lube, comes with a little, little packet of the lubricant for the brush and it comes with a tiny little spanner to uh, do, some, do some surgery on your airbrush should you need to. I will probably use this really soon when I do my next um, latex mask. I will probably use this whole setup, talk about painting a mask, and then do a review on the actual airbrush compared to some of those cheap airbrushes that I use so you can see if there's how much difference there actually is. But check that out. Cool little holder. Nice compressor. Um, about a $400 setup right here if you um, just buy it straight up with no discounts so I'm, I'm quite excited and uh if anybody from iwata is watching this thank you guys so much this is fantastic uh just glad to sit for that makeup came out really good anyway thanks guys for stopping by hopefully this was informative to somebody and i will be back soon see you kids in a bit bye <laughs>